hey everyone welcome to tech diy uh yet another playground session we are going to have today uh, this time we come up with logging in spring boot and the tutorial which we are going to follow for this uh, session is uh, belding.com uh, which is one of the best uh, tutorials for uh, as far as i have seen on the internet so today we are going to cover initially we are going to cover the initial setup which is we are going to have simple web application uh, rest controller which is nothing but uh, uh, which will log the uh, some statements and then further we will go uh, as per mentioned in the tutorials uh, uh, bullets bullet points so yeah so we for the sake of uh, simplicity we are keeping lombok also in the dependencies and uh, that's pretty much about it so let's get started uh, so we have opened the spring starter and we are naming our application uh, our uh, this tutorial as uh, spring boot logging and uh, we are starting with that so we are creating our project and setting a maven requirement and all other things we are setting up here in the our start.spring.io and uh, generating the zip file and uh, extracting that in in our very own idea so that's it So what we are going to do is in, in our logging controller, we are going to write one controller that is logging controller. In our logging controller, we will be logging statements for each of the logging levels that is trace, debug, info, warn and error. And uh, we, we will see one by one each of the configurations initially with simple uh, without any configuration how the spring will work then we will go for default logback configuration uh, we will uh, try to uh, configure through configuration file that is logback uh, spring.xml and then further we will uh, try to instead of uh, using default logback we will try to replace that with uh, log4j2 and further we will try to uh, see the differences and uh, after that, we will see how the Lombok uh, has, uh, you know, made our life much easier with removing the boilerplate code re related to logging. So, as you can see on the screen, we are creating the statements for each logging level. Uh, so, logger, we have initially created the logger and then we are uh, adding the logging st logger statements, logging statements basically for each logging level. Uh, the statements are nothing but simple logging statements. And uh, yeah, we are returning the same thing, whatever return on the tutorial uh, on the left side. So, that's pretty much of it. So, we are trying to run the program and we'll see how it shows so since uh, the since we have not changed the logging levels so default logging level is info so ideally it should only show the last three logging levels that is info warn and error it will not show the trace and debug error debug logging levels which are higher than that so so that is it and uh, as we have started the server and we can see once we need to hit the URL that is nothing but slash 8080 slash so when we hit on 8080 slash it will simply show the message so currently it has shown uh, all the levels uh, after info so info warn and deep, uh, error it has shown now we are uh, going to update the YAML file with the logging levels for root and uh, our uh, package logging controller package class uh, for that class so for root level we are having warn and for our class we are having a trace 
so we will re we will uh, again hit that and as we can see now it is showing the trace debug all the levels it is showing now so that's the basic uh, logging and uh, now we are going to create a new uh, class for log logback configuration that is uh, we are going to take the logback uh, spring dot xml as a configuration xml file so now the spring will start uh, you know using utilizing this configuration uh, class instead of uh, the default application dot yaml file uh, whatever level we have set so basically in this configuration file we are j simply referring uh, the one which is present in the tutorial so we are going to add the appenders here and we are going to, to have the pattern like uh, how the uh, logging strings will be shown on the screen so we are having two appenders here one is for console and the other is for uh, uh, rolling files so that's uh, that's pretty much about it so So we have configured the root levels and the other levels here and appenders also. Uh, so we are trying to hit, uh, trying to rebound the server now and see how it happens, how uh, it works. So, oops, we got some error here and uh, let's try to f fix the error and uh, rebound the server. Uh, for the sake of uh, this. Uh, this POC we what we are going to do is we are going to have the file as it is we will just simply change the package uh, name here uh, for our package so we have given that package name and uh, yeah now uh, once we rebound the server it is showing properly that error has gone now so it seems uh, some mistake we have done in uh, writing the XML file so that's why it has happened so let's move further with uh, as we can see the both the file both the things on console as well as on uh, slash log file so it is generating the logs both uh, at both the places and uh, yeah now we are going to move towards uh, updating the changing from log back to log 4j yeah so for doing that First of all, we need to exclude the default logging, uh, starter logging. So when we say starter logging, it includes the logback. So we need to exclude that one. And instead of that, we need to manually add the dependency for log4j to uh, starter. That is Spring Boot uh, starter log4j2. And uh, in pom.xml, we need to do that. Uh, the second thing. Uh, after doing that, uh, you may see error there, but once we uh, re-import the maven, then the error would go, definitely. Uh, yeah, as, we, as, we, as you can see on the screen. Now, we need to create the log4j2.xml file in the same lines as we created the logback spring.xml. Similar way, we are just uh, going to copy-paste, uh, we are going to copy that file here from the building site and uh, the same 
configurations and everything would so everything would be same as uh, per the building site and we will uh, keep that as it is and only thing change we will do is the package local package same we just uh, we will just change the package name that is our uh, local package names to our uh, package structure that is com dot spring boot logging uh, spring boot loggings uh, dot spring boot loggings under that package we are having a, all our uh, uh, classes so all our classes will come into the scope of logging by doing that much and we are saying as we have seen earlier uh, while doing application yammer so we are going to have the log level as uh, trace now for uh, local level and uh, for root level we will be having the log level as info and uh, we have rebounds the server and as you can see uh, we can see all the uh, log levels are reflecting here uh, since we have the trace as the log level for local so next topic is uh, so we can uh, we have seen how we can change from default log back to log 4j2 in this uh, example now let's move for the next topic which is uh, lombok configurations and uh, that's really uh, that's really the simplest part here uh, since we have already added the lombok in our uh, dependency so all we need to do is simply annotate our uh, classes with at the rate slf4j in our case we can have uh, at the rate log we can have uh, log 4j2 uh, and we can have at uh, at the rate commons login and uh, and we are done with it and yes one more thing apart from doing doing that we need to have uh, the uh, statements as log dot uh, info log dot debug because the code which would be generated by lombok uh, they they will have the variable name as log instead of logger so that's it and the other thing is as you can see in this uh, example here uh, we have removed the logger initialization code uh, which is uh, the very usual code uh, with all the logging we have seen like we uh, create the loggers uh, with uh, based on the uh, uh, based on the package if it is log4j or uh, commons login that uh, is the difference we would be doing so that code is now removed so that's it uh, with this uh, here ends our uh, tutorial for this so hope you enjoyed today's playground session uh, we will come again uh, another time with some exciting some other exciting spring topic uh, that would be spring boot or spring cloud or whatever it is we will uh, cover up one by one and uh, yeah thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe like and share our work thanks again have a nice life bye